All right, made it out to the lake and uh, actually the river. And uh, so we're gonna see what we come up with. So let's jump in the water and see what we get. everyone so after almost seven o'clock I took off this morning at 630 from the house got about a two-hour drive where I'm going today uh, headed up north to a couple of areas in fact I hunted these two areas last year on a video uh, I called I hit the jackpot I'll put the card right over here where you can click on it and go back and watch that video and in that video I found 12 rings that day and uh, I found gold I found silver I found titanium I found tungsten I found junk found a little bit of everything and that was the greatest day I ever had uh, uh, ring hunting at the lakes but I'm going back and following the same pattern a little bit earlier this year than I did last year and uh, so hopefully we're gonna get some rings but as I'm going down the road it's uh, very much overcast and cloudy and intermittent periods of rain and so I'm thinking well that's gonna be in my favor I'm gonna be wet anyway so I'm not worried about being wet but other people who go out and swim, they're not going to want to swim in the rain. So I'm hoping that that's the cause, and that's, that's the case. That there's nobody out in the swimming areas and I can really have it to myself. But anyway, I've got about uh, another hour and a half to get where I'm headed. And hopefully we're going to find some good rings for you. So sit back, enjoy the show, and I'll see you at the lake. To the lake and uh, actually the river and uh, so we're gonna see what we come up with so let's jump in the water let's see what we get all right I've been out in the swimming area for about uh, 10 minutes I've dug a lot of pull tabs and screws and nails but this is my first uh, ring. It's a silver ring with some dolphins and fish on it. Rings up as an 81. All right, that's a positive sign. All right, let's hopefully it's gonna be a good sign for the rest of the day. Let's keep on going. Well, I got my first junker. It's a copper ring with a turtle on top. It's something. That's number two out of here. I've been here about 30 minutes. So we'll keep going. A little bit deeper water now. Let's we'll see what else we come up with. Well, I moved on from that other lake. I got those two rings over there, and I thought I'd come back over on this side. Um, it's about 45 minute drive away, and uh, it's a nice little lake. I came out here last year and found about four rings and some jewelry. And uh, we'll see what we can find today. Hit this, and I got one more spot on this lake I'll hit. Hopefully we'll have something to film that make a video out of all this. So let's go jump in the water and see what we can find. All right, this is day two on my journey. I got two rings at the last uh, couple of lakes that I went to, but didn't get anything else. Last year I got 12 rings on that one day. You can watch that video called I Hit the Jackpot. 12 rings on those three different swimming holes. This year I only got two rings and one was a junker. So that's the way it is. And so today, it's about a week later now, it's my day off and I'm headed back out and uh, headed back to a, a Corps of Engineer Lake that's been shut down for the uh, spring due to all the flooding that we had. And I haven't hit this lake yet, and I don't know how much swimming's been going on, if anybody else has really hit this lake. So we're going to go out today, and we're going to hit uh, three, possibly four swimming areas and uh, see what we can come up with. And we've got one more spot tomorrow that I'm going to go to. And hopefully out of last week's lake hunt and to this weekend's lake hunt, I'll have enough to put a video together. This year, rings are just really few and far between for me. I'm just not having the season like I've had in the past. So anyway, let's... uh. 
head on out i've got about an hour drive to get to the lakes and uh, it's a beautiful day it's 91 degrees and it's just going to get hotter here in texas so um so we're going to have a good time so next time i see you it'll be at the lake I made it out here to the lake today and I'm gonna be hitting this swimming area first but uh, I want to let y'all know I'm gonna be hunting today I finally got my AT Max it's been chattering and so I sent it into the Garrett uh, factory and they replaced all the innards and everything but uh, one thing I'm gonna do today with my AT Max is I'm gonna be using the uh, concentric coil the six inch concentric coil it uh, does a lot better than the double D in water hunting at least that's what I've been told because uh, you get more sensitivity out here on the edges where you might be swinging by a ring and miss it with a double D with the sensitivities down the middle But here it's on the outside So we're going to try this AT max today in the water and see what we can come up with Hopefully we'll find some rings and be able to put a video together for you and show you what, what we got Hopefully we get some silvers and some gold. That's what I want. All right, let's get in the water Got an 81 to an 82. I'm a little over waist deep in water. Is it going to be a dime or is it going to be a silver ring? Let's go see what it is. Well, it's going to end up being a 925 silver ring. That's the word Thailand in it. Made in Thailand. It looks kind of vintage, doesn't it? Oh, flower ring. Hey, it's the only thing I found in this, this swimming area so far. It's been pretty quiet. So I'll take a silver ring any day. All right, I'm fixing to move on to the next hole up the up the road and see what we come up there up up with there. So I'll see you at the next hole. Well, I moved on from my first hole and went to the second hole and hunted out there a little bit. Uh, didn't find anything at the second hole. A lot of people started showing up. So I came back over here to this little beach area right here. And it's not even really being used anymore. It's been closed down. It's just real grown up underneath the water. It's really trashy. No one swims. And so my thinking is there's no one out here detecting it either. So there's got to be some stuff out here that's from years past has been left over because it's a big area. And so I'm just going to wait out here. It's real nasty. I don't like the way it feels under my feet. But uh, I know there's been stuff found out here. I've had friends have found rings and even silver half dollars out here, believe it or not. And so we're going to give this about 30 minutes. And then I got one more spot. Then I've got a secret spot on this lake I go to. And uh, we're going to hit it and see what we come up with. So let's get in the water. Let's see what we can find. Well, I'm getting an 80, 83, 84. 85 all the way up to a 90 uh, let's go down let's see what this is Well, it's, uh, there's no markings in it. It almost looks like it's a handmade silver ring. It's like it's been hammered out and hammered into a ring or something like that. See that dent in it? And I don't know, it just looks weird, but it rings up a, from an 84 to an 89, and even to a 90, it jumped up there. So it's definitely silver, but there's no marking. It looks like a handmade silver ring old that's probably what i'm going to get out of this it's an old swimming area here all right well that's number two for the day and the third swimming area i've got one more swing hole to go and maybe a private area i'm going to go to so hopefully we'll get another ring or two out of the day all right let's keep going well i moved on now this is my fourth area um, that i've hit and uh, just found those two rings so far 
Uh, so I'm hitting this little area right here. This is a real popular swim area on this lake. But since there's nobody out here, I think I'm going to take the time and kind of hunt the beach just a little bit. I never, I never hunt the beaches. I always leave that out for whoever wants to do that. I just hunt the water. But since there's nobody here today and it's almost 100 degrees, I uh, thought I'd do it, get hot, and then get that water and cool off. So let's see what we can find. I got a 60. I don't know what that is. Let's go, go see what it is. It's not very deep. Right. Let's get the pro pointer out. Well, looky there. <clears throat> That's a nice little ring. Looks like a El Cheapo ring, but ringing up a 60, I don't think that's going to be silver, but it, then again, it could be. I don't know. I have to see if the marking's on there. All right. Well, I'll take that. That's not too bad. I just started, so let's keep at it. See what we'll come up with. Fake stone. Probably just a junk ring. I'll look at the mark and see what it is in a little bit. All right. Let's keep going. Got a 38 signal down here. It's real staticky, so uh, let's go down and see what it is. I got a little bracelet right here. I don't think it's gold. It may be gold plated. I can't see any number on the. Uh, I can't see any number on the uh, hat clasp. But I can see it's kind of two tone and stuff, so it's not going to be real gold. But anyway, it's a nice little find, little heart bracelet. All right, we'll keep on going. Well, this is my third day that I'm out trying to get some rings. There's not a lot of rings out here today. And uh, down here at my, uh, got some rings yesterday. So I'm out here at a new lake today. Pretty windy out here today, it's gonna be rough. I've got two spots I'm gonna hit and then uh, whatever I get is what I get. I'm gonna make a video out of it and I'll show it to you uh, coming up next week. So anyway, let's get out there in the water and let's have some fun. I got my first ring out here. I've been out here about 30 minutes, and it's a uh, silver ring. Ring it up as an 83. It's bent. Looks like someone stepped on it or something out here in the hard packed clay. Anyway, that's number number six, I think, for the for the video. I've lost count. All right, maybe this is a sign. We'll get some more. Let's keep on going. second ring it's been about 30 minutes since I found that last one this is a stainless steel ring here I've dug several of these this type anyway I'll take it bring up with the 46 on my AT Pro I'm using the Pro today it's not the I'm not using the Mac like I was yesterday all right we'll keep on going we'll give a little more time here see what we come up with all right I made it back home after five lakes and nine different swimming holes just to get what I got that's really working it hard now that's getting desperate. I'm telling you, there's just not a lot of rings in East Texas where I'm at uh, this year. I'm really struggling. I should be up in 60, 70 rings by now. But I'm lucky to have a 30. I don't even know what my ring count is. It's not very high. But uh, nonetheless, uh, I did get some rings uh, on these uh, five lakes and nine swimming areas. So let me turn you around. Let me show you what I got. All right. Like I always like to start out with, here's my trash. Got a fishing lure, some type of little clamp. I got a sea clamp, a pair of tweezers. That's a first. I never got a pair of tweezers in a lake. All the pull tabs, digging all those pull tabs, hoping to get some gold rings, some bottle caps, uh, 
I try not to dig these. I know what they sound like, but I'll dig them anyway just to test the hole and uh, clean out the spot for the next time I'm there. But here's uh, all my change I got. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dollars and fifty cents in quarters. And I got one, two dollars and forty cents in dimes. I've got uh, six, seven dollars, uh, seven uh, nickels, so thirty-five cents there. And then we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven pennies, eleven pennies, and change. So definitely dug a lot of money. Definitely dug a lot of that out there. Uh, got one little heart bracelet. Nothing precious. Just a little piece of junk jewelry is all it is. I thought maybe it'd be gold or something. Rang up like a in the thirties. Uh, here's my rings. I did end up getting seven rings. Uh, six rings, I should say. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can count better than that. Um, I put them in order here. This is a little turtle ring. This is a little junk ring. Looks like something you buy of a bubble bubblegum machine. I did get this little ring here. It's very pretty, um, but I think it's just going to be junk. I think it's, it's stamped 925 China, but that's going to be that China silver, which I don't think is real silver because it was ringing up like a 60. And uh, if that was a real silver ring, that would be ringing up very good. It looks like costume jewelry to me. I did get this one today. This is a stainless steel ring. I uh, got several of these rings. In fact, I've got about three of them, I think, with this little design on them right there. So that's good. Uh, that's another ring. Here's my silvers. I did get these silvers. This one I got yesterday. It looks like one of those handmade silver rings. It looks like it's been fashioned with a hammer. But uh, I did get this ring. I got this one last weekend. It's got little dolphins and fish, but it is silver. Uh, it's not marked, but it rings up a very high in the 80s. And then, of course, you can't deny that being silver. This is a uh, tarnished out silver. That's been in the in the ground a while. This was bent. I took my, my uh, oh, what you call that thing, straighten rings out. I took it out a while ago and straightened it out. Man, Mandarin or whatever, it's mandolin. I don't know what it's called. Anyway, a mandrel. I took it and I'll straighten it on out when I get ready uh, to polish it up here in a little bit. I'll get a before and after. But that's a good little silver band I got today. And the best ring I got... Uh, this trip was this little flower sterling silver ring right here Looks kind of vintage, uh, but hasn't been in the water too long because it's not even tarnished But uh, some lakes they don't really tarnish out that quick but anyway uh, It was a good hunt um, Definitely was digging a lot of coins uh, going for all types of uh, signals to try to get some rings But they're just not a lot of rings out there, but I'm not complaining That's one two three four silvers a stainless some type of material and then just a piece of junk copper and so there are the treasures there's all the trash you got to dig this stuff and dig stuff in order to get that stuff and so like i always say the greatest treasure my friends is not sitting here on the back of your tailgate the greatest treasure is what's sitting up in heaven keep searching keep looking up until we meet again, I just want to say God bless and happy hunting.